Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so it is what I eat in a day. I have a super fun day planned for you today. I have a couple of fun hauls. We've got Diesel and Lola, all my food for the day, and a wonderful, fantastic dinner recipe. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. So if you want to see what I eat in a day on the Blue Plan on WW, stay tuned. <music> this morning I'm feeling a scramble of sorts so I went ahead and grabbed a few things out of my fridge and freezer and we're gonna make a really hearty scramble I'll probably have some strawberries and blueberries with this but for my scramble today I'm gonna use these sausages Ooh, these are the Sabantino's basil paleo chicken sausages I actually got these at Costco I love them my husband does not like them I love them we're gonna use these in tonight's dinner recipe too so it kind of made sense to have one for breakfast each one of these sausage links is four smart points so I'm gonna do one sausage link I'm probably going to do one to two eggs to kind of put together that scramble you guys know my latest obsession with basil so I'm gonna put in some fresh basil and then I weighed out on my food scale 84 grams which is two smart points of sweet potatoes so that's this here I have some extra green onions from a previous recipe and some extra zucchini so I'm gonna chop up the zucchini chop up the basil and we're gonna throw this all in a pan and we're gonna have a scramble for breakfast this morning avocado oil warming up in my pan I'm gonna go ahead and pop in that cut up sweet potato that I measured out and then over here I have the I did about half the zucchini the green onions quite a bit of basil because it cooks down and I'm obsessed I also have that sausage all cut up and I'll throw these in here for safety. I have a couple of eggs as well. So this is what's going to comprise my scramble. So I'll be back to show you my breakfast. All right guys, breakfast is served. It looks amazing. Look at this huge scramble that I got out of those ingredients. I was able to get a ton of veggies, super well rounded with adding in the sweet potato. So the only thing that has points here in my scramble is four points for the link of sausage and two points for the sweet potato. Again, I just weighed it out on my food scale. And then of course, for some brightness, some fruit, I have some delicious strawberries and blueberries here. So my breakfast, you guys is six points this entire breakfast six smart points look at diesel he's back out on his dog bed I'll tell you guys sorry my screen you can see the screen I apologize but he spends most of his day outside the other day he was inside for five minutes the entire day he just loves it it's nice and cool he can see everything i just washed his dog bed cover so he's happy as a little clam out there and then this one she's been laying in bed all morning huh are you happy in bed 
Yeah, you sure are, huh, baby? Before I show you what I want to show you, my items I'm going to show you came packaged in dry ice. Who else loves dry ice? It's so cool how it's all smoky. So let me show you what came packaged in this dry ice. So Enlightened reached out to me and asked if they could send me some ice cream to try and share with you guys. So I said, um, of course, I love ice cream. So they sent me these flavors. Some of them I've actually never seen in the store. So that was super exciting from their website. Now you can order directly off of their website, which is amazing because sometimes it's hard to find the ice creams in the store. And I found them to be more affordable even on the website and they came packaged so well. Actually, they came in this box and there are two big blocks of dry ice. All this packaging, literally everything was frozen solid when it came in. So way to go enlightened. So what I picked, they let me pick some flavors, is the marshmallow peanut butter. I've actually never had this flavor. It's 100 calories for half of a cup. All of the enlightened ice creams, I believe, are three points for half of a cup. So I grabbed the marshmallow and peanut butter. That sounds so good. And then mint chocolate chip is my very favorite ice cream ever. So of course I had to pick up that one. Now this one, because it's 100 calories, maybe more points. I'll just put them here on the screen. And this one I have had before and it is so good. This is a movie night and it is buttery popcorn, pieces of candy. So it's really, really good. I really like this one. And then this was one I'd never seen. And this is the black cherry chocolate chip. So I was thinking this might be like the Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia, which used to be my favorite ice cream pre-WW. Not gonna lie. So I was excited to be able to pick out four pints. And then I picked out three boxes of the bars as well. I believe the bars are three points. I'll put all the points, of course, on the screen. So these are the mint chocolate chip. I had to get those because like I said, mint chocolate chips, my favorite. This one I love. I've actually had this before. I've shown it in a couple grocery hauls. The coffee chip is so good. And then this is one I'd never seen before. So this is a new to me. This is monkey business. And this one is made with almond milk, which is really, really cool. I thought we could take a quick peek at the ingredients. So everything looks pretty good. Now there is erythritol in here. There's only five grams, which is not bad. It's about the equivalent of about two packets of sweetener. So that's not too bad. It does have natural flavor that I don't love. And the sunflower oil is not expeller pressed, but you know what? For a point friendly ice cream, it actually overall has pretty darn good ingredients. Now this one that isn't made with almond milk. So the other ice creams are generally made with a skim milk. So you can see the skim milk there and coconut oil, oops, sorry, which I love that they are made with coconut oil. That is such a better option. Of course, there's cane sugar in there. Um, and then the same amount of sugar alcohol. So really you guys, not bad. Is it the cleanest around? No, but Hey, we only have a certain number of points every day. So choose what you spend your points on wisely and enlightened is a fantastic choice. So they were kind enough to offer me discount codes for you guys. It is not an affiliate link, simply a discount for you. I'll put them on the screen. There's two separate codes, whether you choose to buy pints or bars, and I'll put it down in the description box. So if you like enlightened, you can have it shipped to your doorstep, usually save a little bit of money, play with the dry ice. It's a win-win. All right, my friends, here's my lunch. You guys, I'm so excited. Doesn't this look so good. I'm probably going to have some cottage cheese too, but this is the main portion of my lunch, my salad. So let me show you all the components. You guys always ask about my different salad concoctions that I throw together. So first I'll show you guys the air fryer that I use. I bought this a while ago. I've shown this in a couple of videos. This is actually the Copper Chef air fryer. It's just a tiny little air fryer, but you guys, I love this thing for quick, easy recipes. You guys know I have the Power Oven Elite. I'll show you. So I have that big air fryer down there, the red one. That thing's just cumbersome and big when you only want to cook a small amount of food. So I bought this off of Amazon for about $40. I'll link it down below for you guys. It is seriously an amazing little air fryer. Kick butt air fryer. Love it, love it, love it. Easy to clean, just the basket style. So I used my air fryer, of course, to cook up my chicken. This is the chicken I used today. This is the Cola Power New Chick on the Block, the original. I really, really like the spicy version in my salad, 
but I'm out of the spicy and I have like one and a quarter bags of these. So I wanted to use them up. I don't even like the spicy by itself, but it really just adds good flavor in the salad. But today I just have the original. So I have three pieces of that for three smart points. I topped it here with some little cherry tomatoes. I just use the organic ones from Trader Joe's. I always buy my tomatoes organic because they are on the dirty dozen. And then to top my salad, I did one ounce of the Trader Joe's organic crumbled feta. This is not low fat fat free this is full fat feta it's so good so i used one ounce of that my salad is made up of basil because that's my new thing is adding basil to salad it's so good you guys try it and i only added about four leaves i just broke them up mixed them in with my greens my greens are these organic girl protein greens these are really good and i have these on hand so decided i wanted to use those up and then I topped it with my traditional one tablespoon of sunflower seeds. I really like the added flavor and crunch of the sunflower seed on my salad. So that is my salad itself. And then I always make up my own vinaigrette. I actually have this recipe on my website. So head over to there if you want the recipe. It's shown in with one of my other salads. But essentially, here's what's in it. So salt and pepper balsamic vinegar this is the best balsamic i've ever had it's thick it's sweet it's so good i actually bought this off of thrive market there's a link down below for thrive you actually get 20 dollars in free product when you join the thrive market highly recommend you guys great great prices about 30 percent less than your traditional grocery store thousands of good whole delicious foods free shipping comes to your door within a couple days great community involvement with the thrive market they give back to the community just love them overall so that balsamic you can pick up there it's literally just a dash of dijon mustard and then whatever oil that you want to use i do one teaspoon oil probably half a teaspoon dijon mustard about one and a half teaspoons balsamic vinegar pinch of salt and pepper and you have a literal one smart point salad dressing and it's so delicious so there's my lunch and then i literally just take my dressing Look at that. Oh, so good. Drizzle that right over the top. And there is my lunch. So it's three points for the chicken, three points for the feta cheese, one point for the sunflower seeds. So that is what? Seven points and then one point for the dressing. So my salad is eight smart points. So I did decide to go ahead and have some cottage cheese along with my salad. So I have four points, a little over half of a cup. I just wanted to use what was left in this container. This is the Nancy's cottage cheese. I don't love this. I think the good culture is so much better. This one has kind of a weird taste. It tastes almost like sour cream with cottage cheese bits. I know that might sound bizarre, but it is kind of a bizarre taste and even texture. So I will not be repurchasing this, but I really, really do love the Good Culture one. They were just out when I went to the store. So I have four smart points worth of that. And I haven't been updating you guys on my water. This is my fifth one of these. Yay me. So there is the rest of my lunch for four additional smart points. All right, guys it's here my erin condrum planner for july through the end of 2020 in all of 2021 i'm so excited you guys know i absolutely love erin condren i use my planner every day several times a day so i want to show you guys kind of what everything looks like so they send you this cute little i guess it's kind of like a magazine that comes with your Erin Condren planner and kind of tells you about some of the products that they have. So that's really cute. They didn't have that last year. And then there is a little card here as well from Erin Condren. It comes very, very nicely packaged. I did kind of open it to make sure that this was the right one. And I say the right one because I ordered a second Erin Condren planner. It is obviously not personalized because I don't know who it's going to, but I ordered a second one to do a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. It's just going to be thrown in there sometime. So that is on its way as well, but this is my personalized one. So I'm going to show you, let's unbox this, see all the good stuff I picked out. And first let's take a look at that beautiful planner. All right. So it came in this box, but then it also comes in its own box, which just protects it and keeps it nice during shipping. So then you just fold that back and you've got your Erin Condren planner. It always comes with like some cute little like accessory type of things. There is a 20% off. I'll show that here at the end of this clip. So if the first one that can take advantage of that can get 20% off. But look at you guys. 
isn't this the cutest i did go ahead and upgrade to the rose gold binding that's actually an upgrade the traditional binding is either i think silver or gold but i decided to upgrade to the rose gold i think it's ten dollars more i just thought it looked really nice with the actual cover of the planner you always get this little ruler i usually just take it off the front but yeah look at this i've got my name on it i use this for real estate i use this for youtube i use this literally you guys to track my life but it's so so cute so there's like a dry erase panel on the back of the cover and look how gorgeous this is i mean it is so pretty it is so well done i just absolutely love it so you can see that it's going to start well 2021 but it actually that's just kind of an at a glance of the entire couple years but it does start in july so you guys have plenty of time to order and get your erin condren planner before july i'll give you all the details here in just a couple of minutes but this is it you guys i'm so excited so you can see that it goes through all of 2020 so there's december and then it also goes through all of 2021. So whenever you buy an Erin Condren planner, it actually lasts you a year and a half, which is such a fantastic deal. So each month is separated with a quote. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Each month I have an at a glance calendar. Now you can choose your calendar to be vertical or horizontal. I chose horizontal. And then there is also a beginning page for a month that includes a bullet journal. I usually write my goals here and then I usually put some type of inspirational sticker quote there on that beginning page of the month. And then I did my month laid out this way. So last time I had it laid out the other way, but I like that on each day, I actually have a bigger space to write. I was finding that it was in this for me at least, in this calendar type of a format, it was just a little tougher to fit everything. So I opted to go this format for the rest of the month and then we're on to the next month. So I just love it. I think it is so absolutely beautiful. In the very back, you have a little tab that says notes. So if you guys can see that, there's some note pages, which I really like because I use those a lot to write down phone numbers or just kind of whatever I need to take a note of. And then there's actually the year 2022, which I think that's really cool that they even give you the year, the next year, so that you can at least see dates if you're trying to plan something towards the end of 2020 or 2021. So I really like that. And then every Erin Condren planner comes with some stickers. So these are the types of stickers that you get with your planner. They're very similar to last year. I've honestly used 90% of these from last year. I use these ones all the time. How freaking cute are these? And then I use these as well, these like little square ones. I use those to track my weight, my weight loss every week. So I love those. And then I use this a ton. This is just a super cute two-sided folder in the back of your planner and then also in every planner you get a perpetual calendar so this just has months no dates so there's no dates on here well there's dates but it's not like year specific so it's just another perpetual calendar and that comes included with every Erin Condren planner seriously you guys it's so cute this is the Erin Condren life planner it's the perfect size I can throw it in my purse like I said, I use it all the time. So now let's break into some of these goodies. So these are all the free things that came with my planner. So I didn't buy any of these they came with. So they always give you three what they call compliment cards. These are just really, really cute. I like to put these with thank you notes that I send to people or with birthday cards or anniversary cards. I just think that they're really cute. They also gave me 20% off your next purchase when sharing with a friend or family. So down in the description box is the link to head over and join the Erin Condren Insiders Club. It's free to join. When you join the Insiders Club, you actually get $10 off of your first order. So take advantage of that, but also take advantage of this for future orders. Here are the codes. If you guys want a screenshot, it looks like there's two separate codes for 20% off. There's one and there's one. Now it is only the first person who uses these, I'm assuming. So if you're interested, join the Insiders Club and then try to input that code at checkout. And then they also give you some gift labels. So these are sticky backed. So it looks like there's a couple two froms. Super cute. So all that came with my planner. And here's what I bought with my own money outside of my planner. So I bought a petite journal. 
I bought a couple of sticker packs and another sticker pack. I love these book ones. And then I think this came free with my order. This is the organization clutch. So it's just like a pencil bag. It has a zipper top. I like to keep my markers and any loose stickers that I might have in one of these little pouches. And again, this came free with my order. So before we open up the books, I did buy these floating flowers, floral high glass stickers or high gloss stickers I should say because they match really good with the cover of my planner and then I had to get these because we need these in our life these are the petite planner goal setting journal pack so it has fun stuff on it like make the day count goal oh, today is the day let's do this that type of thing like motivational things I like to put that in my planner when it comes to my weight loss and also when it comes to my career. So I love those. Let's go ahead and open up this petite journal. So this is the petite journal of, and it includes 80 productivity pages. Oh, how cute is this? Peel back the later layers so the world can see you shine. And then basically it's like a to-do list. I do a lot of list making. I'm majorly a list maker especially when it comes to like planning for my youtube channel and my real estate career so i bought this because i thought that this would be great to put in that back pocket and always have available for notes and then the other thing i bought you guys this is so freaking cute this is the flower power sticker book that includes washi and clear stickers there's actually 529 stickers in here which i love these i bought one of these books last year and i i mean i've used almost all of them it's so crazy so look at how cute these stickers are they're just absolutely adorable this is the flowery one so again i bought this because it goes really well with my planner i think these are adorable so you can design pages customize your pages make them fun these are clear stickers so they're clear backs look at goal love yay love this it's so cute i love these circular ones and then i like this too these are also clear to do me time hello weekend note appointment love that just so that you can have these marking your main calendar so you know if you have something coming up how fun are these it's just such a great deal and you get 529 stickers incredible i'm not sure of the cost I'll make sure that I put it on the screen for everything. So you would have already seen the other sticker books, but I'll put it on the screen here for this one. But yeah, you guys, so cute. So these are the extras that I decided to pick up with my Erin Condren planner. So now take advantage of the 20% off if you're one of the first couple to use that. But stay tuned, you guys. I am going to be giving away a life planner. I'm just waiting for it to get here. And then I'm going to figure out exactly how I want to incorporate that giveaway here on my channel. So there you have it. Check out Erin Condren down below. Don't forget to click the link, join the Insiders Club, and that's how you'll get $10 off of your first order. All right, it's afternoon snack time. I've got a smoothie, aka protein shake, ready to go. So what I have in this puppy is I have half of a cup of my So Delicious Dairy-Free Organic Coconut Milk for one point, and then I have about a half of a cup of water just to add a little extra liquid. I have a frozen banana, a bag of frozen kale, and then I have, you guys already know, my Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel and Peanut Butter. I love this stuff. It is so incredibly delicious. I'll put my discount information here on the screen for you guys, but I just buy this off the Primal Kitchen website. I am about to go order some other flavors because this stuff is Pillar. So not only do you get a good dose of collagen, it's only two smart points for the scoop. You also pick up some protein at 11 grams, fan tabulous ingredients. This stuff is so good. It's absolutely delicious. So I have one scoop of that. And then I have about a teaspoon of chia powder. So this is organic chia powder. I like to use powder over chia seeds in my smoothies just because I don't necessarily like that seed texture and this stuff is amazing from nutstop um, i do have a discount code for these guys it's not an affiliate link it's just a discount for you i'll put it here on the screen and it's in the description so that's that so let's pop the lid on this guy and blend her up all right hello gorgeous there she is you guys you cannot taste the kale at all and it is such a fantastic way 
honestly, to get in those extra greens. So it's two points for the collagen. Also a great way to get in some extra collagen. And it literally tastes like a peanut butter milkshake. It's so good. So two points for the collagen, one point for the coconut milk. I do not count points for blended fruit. So this is three smart points. Is it that time of day where you get a bone? Do you guys want a bone? All right, let's do it. We gotta get in here. We gotta get down in here and get your bones. <gasps> Look, guys. All righty, here we go for you and for you. For tonight's dinner, I'm making pesto shrimp pasta. Three things I love, pesto, shrimp, and pasta. So I'm so excited for tonight's dinner. So let me show you what is in our recipe. You're going to need some shrimp. So I'm gonna be using this large cooked shrimp minced garlic, lemon juice, pasta of your choice. I'm using the Fiber Gourmet Light Linguini. They did, a couple months ago, revamp their Fiber Gourmet pasta. They changed the nutritional information. So now it's only 100 calories per serving, 25 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs, seven grams of protein. And the best news of this revamp is that it's only two smart points now for two ounces of pasta. Traditional pasta is anywhere from five to six smart points for two ounces. So that is amazing. That is two ounces dry. So this entire bag is four servings because this bag is eight ounces. So always measure your pasta dry. You can pick up Fiber Gourmet on the Nutrition website. There's a link down below for Nutrition best pasta ever. It's the only pasta we buy. Yeah. And you can't beat two points for two ounces of pasta. That's incredible. You're also going to need some salt, sugar, snap peas, and some pesto. Now, if you don't have pesto, you can make your own. The recipe actually gives you the directions to make your own pesto, but I'm just going to use what I have left of this jar of pesto. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring a pot of salted water to a boil so that we can go ahead and add in and cook down our pasta. I also have a large skillet over here that I've sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. We're gonna bring this up to temp and then we're going to add in our sugar snap peas and get started on making this pasta. I'm hungry and this sounds really good. Once your snap peas have been cooking for a little while, about three minutes or so, we're gonna go ahead and add in our shrimp. Mine have the tail on, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tails off before adding them into the pan here. And then we'll add a little bit of garlic. So let me get the shrimp in and we'll add the garlic. All right, so shrimp is in. Next step is putting quite a big scoop of minced garlic in there. And then I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of lemon juice just to kind of bring out the flavor of the shrimp. And we're gonna let this cook until the shrimp is completely warm through. And our pasta is actually coming along nicely here and then we'll drain it and that'll be ready to go. This looks so good, you guys. I'm so excited for dinner tonight. So in my bowl here, I have one quarter of a cup of pesto. We're gonna go ahead and add that entire quarter of a cup here to the shrimp and the snap peas. And then I'm also going to put just a little pinch of salt. Our noodles are just about done. And then the last step is, is to add those directly into the pan. All right, noodles are in. We're gonna give this a stir. We just wanna make sure our noodles get coated in that pesto. That's it, you guys. Dinner is ready. How quick and easy and simple. So let me get this stirred all together, plate it up, and I'll be back to show you dinner and give you the smart points. All right, so here is my dinner for tonight. So this whole pan of pasta made four servings total. Each serving is five smart points on both the blue and purple plan and six smart points on the green plan. Not bad at all for pasta, pesto, and shrimp. So tonight's dinner is five smart points. So for dessert tonight, I'm going to have an Enlightened Mint Chip Bar. I do have a couple of discount codes for Enlightened. They're not affiliate links. They just gave them to me for a discount for you guys. They did send me these bars to try and mint chocolate is my favorite everything. So these are 90 calories and they are two smart points a piece. So that, or I'm sorry, three smart points a piece. So that's going to be my dessert. Thank you.
for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all my great, fantastic food, the dogs, some hauls, and just an overall super fun day. The recipe I shared with you for dinner tonight is down in the description box on my website. So go in the description box, click my website, it'll take you right there. Make sure you enter your email for fun giveaways, newsletters, all the good things. Also in the description box is the link to head over, join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. It is such a warm, welcoming place to be, so head on over and join us. All my discount codes, links to everything I shared with you today, and all the good things are in the description box. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week and Wednesdays are always what I eat in a day. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love today's video. It really helps out my channel and I very much appreciate it. And of course, I'll see you all in the next one.